You're bored with Animal Crossing New Horizons, aren't you? You can only restart your island so many times. You just wish there were mini games in New Horizons like a New Leaf. Well, at the moment, I'm looking for ways to create mini games that you can play on your island. Today, I'm going to show you how to play the classic game Battleship using stuff and space on your island. Before you start, you're gonna need these things. Two shovels, 34 gold nuggets, 166 iron nuggets, and a friend. If you're running low on the iron or gold especially, you can always try a treasure island. I actually have a video about using treasure islands, so go check that out. Once you get all of your materials, here's what you'll need to do to set up for Battleship. First, plot out two 10 by 10 areas right next to each other. I like to use fencing to keep it separated, but the fencing is not required as long as you know where one area begins and ends. If you don't have enough room on your island for two 10 by 10 plots, you can always make smaller plots. However, you'll probably want to adjust by having less ships in your game. Once you have two plots set up, one for you and one for your friend, split up your materials. Your friend's going to get one shovel, 17 gold, and 83 iron, and you'll get one shovel, 17 gold, and 83 iron. Iron nuggets are going to be your misses, and going to represent a ship not being there. And gold will represent hits or ships. Speaking of ships, you will have five ships total with these lengths. One five, one four, two threes, and one two. Remember, as you're laying out the iron and gold, you'll just want to grab one at a time from the bunch. Laying out all of the ore really helps because then you can kind of plan where you want to place things and then place them after rather than trying to remember everything as you're burying it. Then, once you're pretty sure you have everything in the right place, you'll want to pick up one iron or gold at a time and then bury it. If you pick up a bunch at a time, it will stack into bunches again and honestly, just trying to separate the stacks takes more time than just burying one ore at a time. Once you have buried all of your iron and gold, it's time to invite a friend to play with you. What's nice about this game is you can play with another resident on your island. So if you have a sibling or spouse or kid that you share your island with, you can play with them. For once, Nintendo Online is actually not required to enjoy something. Or you can just invite your bestie from another island to come and play with you. If you do invite someone from another island, make sure you're best friends according to the best friends list app. That way they'll be allowed to use a shovel on your island. Then, you'll want to take your friend to their plot they'll be working with. Explain how many ships they'll need and how long the ships will be and how exactly laying out the iron and gold works. Then comes possibly the most complicated part. You have to leave your friend alone to bury stuff. They'll probably need about 20 to 30 minutes to work alone so that you don't see where they bury their ships. So, if you don't trust your bestie on your island alone or you're worried they might peek at your side of the game board, you might need to find someone else to play with. But if you do trust your friend, just go somewhere else on the island for a bit. I fished for about 30 minutes and yes, I caught mostly sea bass. Once your friend finishes setting up, the game can begin. Each player will take turns digging up one spot on the other player's board. As you dig up spaces, you'll drop what you find on the spot you dug it up from. That way you can keep track of where you've looked and how many ships you found and how many ships are left. When you find a gold nugget, that means you've landed a hit and you can choose one of two rules. You can either get an extra turn for every hit you land, or you can still just take one turn at a time alternating with the other player. I just did the alternating turns rule, but I know some people play the other way. Whoever finds all 17 of the other player's gold nuggets or all five ships wins the game. Now, it's your turn to go and play, but first, why don't you hit that subscribe button for me? That way, when I come out with more games, you can be the first to know. But until next time, happy gaming!